And diplomacy interest is interesting because you may be the best player of the world. If, if the six other player wants to kill you, they will to kill you. It's a, de it's a, it's a great difference between chess and diplomacy or something like that. If uh, the best player of chess is 8-8 from each other, he may win the World Championship without problem. But in diplomacy, you can't win if, if uh, other else doesn't form. So it's that that is good in diplomacy. Try to convince the other that to you... To kill somebody for you. Yes. <laughs> that was the better and then you need uh, the, the, the title. The title is for you, and you must convince the other. The diplomacy, unlike any other game, you absolutely need help to win. You're not going to do it on your own. Uh, maybe your biggest decision has to be when to stop getting help and turn on your previous ally to try and win the game. It's a great way to learn how to talk to people. Like, it teaches you how to be neutral about things. So it's like, it's not a yes, it's not a no, it's appealing to both of us, but you have no real definite answer. It's not just pieces, it's it's board dynamics. It's what is one person going to be thinking, what's like, what is one country going to be thinking if I make these moves, like, if I start attacking this country, how is the, the people behind me, how are they going to react? Are they going to jump on me from behind or are they going to, you know, keep pressing the other way? It's a good game for sadists and insane. It's just really about the purest form of strategy that I think you can get in a board game. You know, what I like about diplomacy, I, I like both levels. I, uh, I like the tactical chess type element and I like the um, psychopathic lying element too. So it's a, it's a unique combination. It's a great game. It should be, you know, promoted and it should be much better known than it is. Its biggest strength is you have seven people playing for a very long time. That's also the thing that is its biggest liability because you can't get games, you know, face-to-face -face games to seven people very often. You can learn to play diplomacy at a reasonably good level fairly quickly, and then it's a lot of experience. But, you know, there's some good resources. Uh, you have Diplomacy World, some other places where, you know, people are just starting out can go and they can read about games that have been played already and they can study that. A lot of good resources on openings and things. I might want to consider reading some of those myself.